So uh, as I said, we decided to block in one direction. We had these three checks. And uh, so we chose to use six blocks. We played around a little bit and realized that would give us uh, error degrees of freedom of 10, which is pretty much the minimum that you need to um, be able to detect differences um, unless you have a very highly heritable trait. Uh, we had the 50 new entries. So the total number of plots was, uh, including the replicated checks and the new entries, was 68. Uh, this came out to about 12 entries per block, but uh, since we only had uh, the 50 new entries, the last block only had eight plots. Uh, and that was okay, because one nice thing about the augmented designs is that um, you don't have to have equal numbers of new entries in every block. So here's our um, statistical model, and I um, included the a residual plot. I just ran, uh, and initially I just ran an ANOVA, and included a residual plot here uh, to make a particular point. Uh, you can see along the zero axis there that uh, um, these are our new entries, and they actually have no residual. They're contributing nothing to error. The other plots that you see um, represent the check plots, and essentially what you're doing here is, you know, the, the estimate of error you're getting would be the same if you didn't include the new entries at all. You're essentially doing a design on the check entries and then using the information there to adjust for the um, block effects and adjust the values of your new entries. So in your field plan, you need to be sure to include a sufficient number of checks and replicates. Uh, to get a reasonable estimate of experimental error, so you can detect differences among your varieties. Uh, as in any design, you'd want to arrange your blocks along the field gradient to get the most possible variation among blocks and minimize um, the variation within blocks. Uh, you have to assign each of your checks at random to each block, and then that, after that you would assign your new entries at random to the remaining plots. There's also an online tool for um, to generate a randomization. I, I, I just use a um, uh, random number generator in Excel to do mine. It's not hard to do, but that um, online tool is, a very, is available. OK, so here shows the field um, layout. We have our six blocks along this dimension here. And then we have, uh, within each block, we have 12 plots, and I usually number them uh, in a serpentine fashion. And then in the block six, we uh, did not have a complete, um, we, we didn't have the 12, we had um, eight plots. So the first thing you would do then is go ahead and um, assign at random your checks to those experimental units. You put all three checks one time in each block. And then you would randomly assign your remain entries to the remaining um, plots. And this is a picture showing what a typical uh, Metaphone progeny trial looks like. This is just shortly after flowering. Uh, for data collection, we collected information on flowering dates, plant height, disease resistance, uh, lodging, seed yield, 1,000 seed weight, and uh, we weren't able at that time to, we didn't have a um, capability then for large-scale screening of oil content. We do have that now, and it's a routine measurement. Of course, it's our primary interest. Uh, for this example, uh, we'll just look at the variable 1,000 seed weight. Uh, it has a relatively high heritability, and it's positively correlated with uh, both oil content and oil yield. OK, one important decision that has to be made before you begin the analysis is to decide whether your um, genotypes are going to be fixed or random. Uh, it's generally assumed that our blocks are random because they represent a larger group of potential blocks, and we want to be able to make inferences beyond the uh, particular sample of blocks in the experiment. Uh, for the genotypes, uh, we know that the checks are fixed effects. We're wanting to make specific comparisons with those varieties. Um, however, the new entries could be fixed or random. Uh, most commonly, they're considered to be random because they've never been evaluated before. Um, however, in this case, you could argue that they would be fixed. 
Uh, you want to make specific comparisons uh, and to select the winners. And also, they didn't come from a common population. So we'll go ahead and look at the analysis, um, uh, both of these possible analyses. <clears throat> 